I'm going to be walking over to three of the best sandwich shops in Paris, all very different, and I'm going to be telling you which one I think is the best. So the first place we're going to try is pretty famous. It's a classic Parisian sandwich shop, beautiful looking mustard, olive oils, and then of course, there's all the different meats. Can I order one hamon beurre? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, just one sandwich? Yeah, two choice ham. Okay. What's a good cured ham? Can I get it with a cured ham? This is a cured ham. This is French? Yeah, this one and this one. Yes. Okay, I'll try this one. Is this a good one? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye bye. See ya. Okay, I've got the goods. It was 16.90, so 16 euros and 90 cents. They have cents. Uh, pretty expensive, but probably some of the best ham you can get. Just have a look at that. I mean, perfect crispy Parisian baguette, which is really half the fun. And then of course this this brilliant fatty cured French ham. So let's let's give it a try. I mean, that is just perfect. It almost tastes like uh, jamon iberico, so quite like a like an acorny flavor. Okay, let's dive in. I mean, the bread is just perfect as you'd expect. There's no cheese, there's no, there's nothing in the sandwich, there's no mustard, there's no mayonnaise. It's just this beautiful baguette, butter, probably some really good French butter, and this exceptional, exceptional ham. I need to go in for another bite. Wow. That's like the best welcome to Paris that I could get. I do have two more sandwiches to eat. So I might save a bit of this for later. Excellent. Okay, that was amazing. Awesome, let's, let's head on to the next place and see how that compares. So while the first sandwich was pretty traditional, the next sandwich you're gonna eat is not French at all. In fact, it's one of the best pastrami sandwiches in the city. And I'm a real sucker for pastrami, so I really do want to try it. It's called Jeannette by Homer, and their speciality is the pastrami. Hello. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Here we do all specialties and like your daily, my friend. So yeah, it looks amazing. Pastrami, smoked turkey, the full beef, club sandwiches, tuna meat, the best I of Paris. Oh wow, that looks insane. Can I get a classic pastrami? I recommend to do the Janet, my signature. Okay, let's do that. With mustard, comes an onions and pickles. Let's do it. Uh, so just grabbing a quick seat. Looks like a really cool place. Like everything looks super fresh. The, the slicing, the pastrami. The side of oh, thank you. Club. It's very sweet of you, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Probably goes into the same steamer that the pastrami is made in. Look, look the pastrami. What is homemade? Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Six hours in the in the steamer. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay, wow. Six hours. That's like catch the leaf style, right? Yeah. yeah exactly. Look at this. Looks stunning. It's juicy. It's beautiful. Juicy pastrami. <laughs> <laughs> nice. yeah, Look at this beauty. Wow. This that one is, is a thick Janet. Boy. Janet, my pastrami signature with the homemade mustard, comes like onions, and pickles. Thank you. So, this is the homemade brioche, and it's actually made of rye. 
and look at that beautiful pastrami. Okay, let's dive in, sandwich number two. Wow. It's definitely not a traditional Reuben or traditional pastrami. There's like an onion jam in there as well, which is quite different. It almost makes it a little bit French. I mean, the flavor is insane. I'm gonna try some of the pastrami just by itself. Cheers. Wow. Love it. So is it a beef hot dog? Yeah, yes. it's a yeah. beef and uh, chicken. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah. cool. Seventy percent of the beef because it's the rest of the pastrami, and thirty uh, percent of the chicken. The homemade brioche looks beautiful. It's the same brioche of the homemade lobster. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah. First, we put the the relish. Some nice onions. onions. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Voila. Mm -hmm. Apparently it's the best hot dog in Paris. Looks pretty good. The bread looks beautiful actually. It's the same brioche that's been toasted with a bit of clarified butter. Let's dive in. Mm. Very good. So it's apparently a blend of uh, beef and chicken. The chicken actually makes sense because it just makes it a bit lighter and a bit easier to eat. Mm. The pickles and the onion really make it. I love, I love relish on a hot dog. I love relish on a hamburger. So this is definitely a flavor profile that I appreciate. Next, I'm gonna try the steamed corn that he brought for me. It looks really good. Oh, it smells beautiful. Super sweet. It's got a bit of cheese on it. Corn is so good. It's just cooked perfectly. It's super simple, but super tasty. Price-wise, pretty similar to the previous place, around 16 euros for the pastrami sandwich, which was quite a big sandwich. I have no idea how much the corn or the hot dog are, but. I'm guessing they're a lot cheaper than the pastrami. It's definitely worth it though. You should definitely give this place a visit if you are in the city and you're a bit fed up of uh, French food. If you need a change of scenery. It's probably a good place to, to swing by. Show must go on. Let's go on to the next place. Heading over to my final destination. It is probably the most famous of the three. So this restaurant just serves one thing, which is the entrecote steak with fries and their very famous sauce. So this is the sandwich version of that steak where they take a beautiful fresh baguette, hopefully, and stuff it with the same steak that they serve at dinner uh, with the same beautiful sauce. So it's definitely gonna be the heaviest of the three and maybe the most decadent. Hello. Hello. So it looks like there's a couple of different types. There's the gluten-free. Uh, is this like a vegetable one? Classique. Can I get a classique? Uh, Re? Yeah. Do you want some drinks? No, I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm actually kind of surprised because it was the cheapest of the three sandwiches. Okay, sandwich has just arrived. Let's get it out there. So these are the chips, which are super famous. A bit cold, but works. 
and right behind that is the beautiful rare steak. Mm. That is cooked just perfectly. You don't have to get it rare when you, if you ever do end up coming here, but if you do, you won't regret it. It's quite a lot of bread. The bread seems a bit thick, but here goes. This is a pretty bready bite. Didn't really get any steak in there but hopefully the next one will be a bit better. Mm. <laughs> the best part about La Tricot, whether it's in Paris or London or wherever, is the sauce. Like the sauce they put on the steak is just unparalleled and it's super hard to make. I have looked up the recipe, but I was pretty daunted by it. Okay, so here's what I've done. Like I've, I've consolidated all the, all the beef on one side of the sandwich because I, I really can't eat all the bread. I'm already way too full. So let's, let's dive in and try a beefier bite. Mm. Very good. So I think my conclusion is that this is a very good sandwich. It's great value for 14 euros. Last couple of bites here. Are you Spanish? Okay, which language? Where are you from? I'm from Sri Lanka. I'm from India. Ah, okay. Brother and sister. <laughs> but uh, where in India? Bombay. Oh, okay, so you speak Hindi. I have a colleague who speaks Hindi, but How he's sweet. not here today. Tell him I said namaste. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> People in Paris are super friendly. I don't know what it is, but everyone's really nice. Shouldn't have worn a white t-shirt for this one. My wife's gonna kill me. So that's a bit of the sauce. Greenish, whitish. I'm not describing it very well, but it is it is special. Thank you. Bye. Nice to meet you. So my rating for the last one, the steak sandwich, was an eight. I think the first one I rated an eight five. And I would say the pastrami was an 8-2. So all very solid. If you did visit Paris and you wanted to try one of these sandwiches, if you, if you asked me which one I thought was my favorite, it's probably the first one. Just like exceptional, exceptional bread. Absolutely perfect ham. And just a thick layer of butter. That's my conclusion. I hope everyone's having a good day first day of spring here in Paris and I'll see you on the next one.